loves me, this I know for the Bible. Oh, hey, Orchard Kids. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know you were there, but thanks so much for joining us today. I was just singing one of my favorite childhood songs, Jesus Loves Me. I'm sure you've all heard of that song. It's a great one just to sing in your head, right? What are some of your favorite songs that you sing when you're praising God? What comes to mind? I have so many favorites that come to my mind. Worshiping God through song is one way we can show God how much we love Him. And today, we'll look at an amazing story about how Paul and Silas praised God in song even when they were faced with a difficult situation. So grab your Bibles, you know the drill, and let's turn to the New Testament, to the book of Acts. We're going to be in chapter 16, so find the number 16, and then we're going to be in verses 16 through 34. So let's begin our story today. So here we see Paul and Silas walking through the streets of Philippi in Macedonia on their way to a place of prayer. And some of the people in this town were not happy to see Paul and Silas there, and they wanted to punish them because they did not want them telling others about Jesus. So Paul and Silas were taken to the guards with claims that they had brought trouble and uproar to the city. They were saying that they were confusing the people by the things that they were saying. And the crowd of people, they joined in on the attack against Paul and Silas, and the judges agreed to send them to prison. And the jailer was told to keep them securely locked. It was to make sure that they couldn't escape. So the jailer put them in the inner prison and locked them in chains. At midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and they were singing hymns to God. And the other prisoners, you know what they were doing? They were listening. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake and it shook everything in the foundation of the prison. It shook too and all the doors opened and the chains were free from everyone. Prison guard woke up and saw that the doors of the prison were open and he was scared. He was scared because all the prisoners, he thought that they were going to have escaped and he would be punished for this. But Paul shouted, don't worry, we're all here. And the guard called for a light and he ran to Paul and Silas. And he knew that the reason Paul and Silas were so kind was because they knew Jesus. So the jailer asked them in verse 30, it says, he talked to him and said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? And in verse 31, they answered, they said, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Paul and Silas told the guard and his whole household about Jesus. And within an hour that night, the guard and all of his family were saved. They went back to the guard's house and ate while the guard rejoiced because his whole family believed in God. Now, it could have been very easy for Paul and Silas to blame God for this situation. I mean, let's think about it. Paul and Silas, they were probably cold, hungry, sad, hurting from being locked in chains. But instead of being mad at God, they prayed and they sang songs to him because they loved him and they knew he was there with them the whole time, even if they were not in their favorite place. Who wants to be in jail? Do you know that God is with you even when you're sad and scared? Paul and Silas were filled with the Holy Spirit. They knew that God could take this very bad situation that they were in and turn it into something good for God. God did use it for his glory, actually. The jailer and his whole family believed in Jesus because of the message that God sent through Paul and Silas. They were all saved. Paul and Silas knew that they had a mission. Their mission was to tell others about Jesus, what he did on the cross. Jesus endured the most difficult of times so that he could save us from our sin. 
Paul and Silas knew the importance of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross and that others needed to know too. They didn't give up. They trusted in God and they were hopeful for the future when we will be in eternity praising God, not just in the good times or the difficult times, but we will be praising Him all of the time. What a glorious day that will be. Let's pray. God, we are just so grateful, God, to be here learning your word, studying your word, God, and learning more and more about you and the things that you have planned for us, your will for our lives, God. We are so thankful that we can praise you in the good times, in the hard times, in the difficult times, God. You are always there with open arms, God, and you are worthy of all of our praise, all of our glory. God, I pray that these kids praise you this week and going forward. God, I pray that they understand what a great God we serve, the all-powerful, all-knowing God pray that they understand that. I pray that you will reveal your message to them through someone, through maybe this video. I don't know, God. I pray your will be done. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, speaking of all this worship, guys, you know what time it is. I think we should worship. I'll see y'all next week. I can't stop singing, singing. Singing about you, I can't stop shouting. Whoa, I can't stop, I won't deny it. Nothing's ever gonna keep me quiet. You have saved my life. I can't stop singing. Whoa, 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 I can't stop singing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was lost with